Yo guys, what's up? It's Inflexius. Today we're playing Mundo vs. Cannon Top. So we're just gonna walk up here, try to secure these first three melee creeps here. And I do not want to see a comment about that queue. And we're just gonna stay back here because even though this is a good matchup for Mundo, Mundo is still such a really super weak freaking early game champion, right? So we don't want to contest Cannon at all. We don't want to mess with Cannon at all, right? Once we get some items, we can start really messing them up. There's gonna be not that much he can do versus us. But until then, we need to chill and play with cowardice. Throw a Q at him. Okay, he freaking dodges it. Fair enough. And because I threw a Q at him, I lose the melee creep there. Sad. Alright, we managed to get that CS though, at least, but... We're just gonna let Kennen push towards us, right? We managed to land a little bit of Epoch there, but... We're mainly just gonna let Kennen push towards us, because... We can't really contest him, right? So we just kind of want to stay back and farm. And we're gonna have to stand over here and let Kennen auto-attack us so that the minions will aggro onto him and push the wave towards us a little bit faster, right? Because if we back off there, we're gonna start getting zoned out of XP. We do not want that, right? We'd rather let him just auto-attack us and take minion aggro. Because he can't really stay in there as well because he'd have a cannon minion and three ranged minions beating on him, right? So he wouldn't be able to stay in there. So we're just going to secure our CS here. I do not want to tank a... Empowered auto attack from Kennen and the cannon. Oh, we managed to get the cannon because the melee creeps took the freaking long way around towards our range creeps. I thought they were for sure just gonna walk straight in body block. That's so massive that we get that cannon. Holy! So let's just let it push towards us here. And Kennen's gonna want to throw a Q at us when I, I go for this melee creep here. And nah, okay, fair enough. I didn't want to give up the melee creep. I tried to bait it out, but he was just- he just held it, so well played to him. Use W to try to limit some of this incoming damage. Oh, and I don't get that range creep with the freaking W, sad. Okay, I'm bleeding a lot of minions here. And I also am struggling landing my Qs, so this is not the cleanest early game, I will not lie. But it's fine, we just need to survive and we will scale. It's fine, it's fine. Surely. Looking to see us as melee creep with this Q. There we go. And now the wave is going to start bouncing back. So, oh, I lose that minion. That's so sad. But the wave is going to start bouncing back. Um, so we need to, oh, I lose that minion too. And Kennen charges in on us here. So I'm actually going to trade with him here because he's trading in our whole minion wave. I need to make sure that my W hits him so I can get the full gray health. And look how much damage he's tanking from the minions, right? He's trading in our fat minion wave there. So we can trade back on him there. Oh, and we land that Q. Huge. Well, the wave was going to push back to Kennen, and then we would have to play the bounce back. But um, since he went for that trade, he shoved the wave a bit. Now, here I'm going to collect as many minions as I can before he gets back to come poke us down. And now I'm going to back off here, and I'm just looking to get that cannon, right? Get Kennen away. Maybe. No, okay. I just barely made it in time. Like, you came back just in time for the freaking cannon. Huge. I, did, I just didn't want the cannon to be able to walk up on me for free. Too hard. Alright, so... We're just going to try to get the CSCR tank, the PTA proc, not ideal. I could have actually gotten that ranged creep, but my but I thought it was going to die a bit faster. Because the minions are just getting one shot this lane. But I guess that time it just wasn't the case. Alright, so we're just going to keep farming with keys. Stay back. Keep farming. And I'm actually gonna just- we can just step back here because those minions are hitting Kennen, right? While they're hitting Kennen, they're not hitting his minions. That means Kennen's letting the wave- Kennen's kind of pushing the wave towards us with that, right? Kennen's aggressing on us every time we use our Q. But he's actually pushing the wave while he does that as well. Now, it's still pushing towards him because we have a minion lead and because the wave is closer to our side of the lane than his, right? Here we managed to hit six though. So, I want to trade with him a little bit more, but he hits level 6 here. I'm in kill range if I don't ult immediately, so I'm just going to press it. I wanted to hold my E, I mean my ult, for maybe one more trade, because it heals you the more health you're missing, right? But, so I wanted to drop a little bit lower before I use my R there, but the moment he hits 6, I just need to R immediately, because I was in kill range, right? If he presses R there. He uses his E on us, and he's actually in our wave here, so we can actually look to mess with him, I think. Q... Oh, that's so massive, and we get his flash. That's so huge. Okay, let's get this wave in here, and let's get out of here, dude, because Pantheon's in top river, and Kennen's going to TP back. Okay, we're safe, dude. All right, getting that kill is so massive. Getting kills on Mundo is always huge, because Mundo isn't balanced to get ahead early, right? So if you do manage to do it, it's always so massive on him. So I'm going to get the... 
Giant's Belt and the Crystalline Bla Bracer here because I want a bit of uh, sustain from the Crystalline Bracer, right? It's 100% extra base health regeneration, which I feel like is pretty useful. I kind of like it. Now, you could have made the case that I should have gotten it, um, timing some summoners there in the corner, but you guys could have made the case that I should have gotten a Ruby Crystal and a Rejuve Bead and a refillable potion, and that would have been better for lane, but I don't think I need it because... Of that kill we got, I feel like I don't need it. I feel like... I don't feel like I need the refillable potion, right? I feel like I don't need to... Delay my Warmogs that much. So we go for... Kennen comes in on us, trades us like that a bit. Um, I could have aggressed on Kennen there, but except for the fact that... Kha'Zix hasn't shown on the map for a while, and... He is topside, so we're just gonna play consistent, right? Maybe we could have gone in and gotten a really good trade on the Kennen there. Kennen tanks the Q, but our Q is coming back. Yeah, there we go. So... We could have possibly gotten a really good trade on Cannon there, but it's not worth the risk, right? Big fat wave pushing into us. We don't know where Kha'Zix is. If we go for a trade on Cannon there and uh, freaking die because Kha'Zix was waiting for us or something, or get chunked out and then get dove, then and lose that whole wave, that's just a disaster. We don't need to take that risk. Once we get our Warmogs, we are in such an insanely good spot. And that's all we need to play for. We don't need to take risks out that because we win once we get our Warmogs, right? We just need to farm, and once we get our freaking Again, I'm gonna keep saying it. Once we get our Warmogs, it's unplayable for Kennen. So we're just gonna keep our CS up. I tried to hit Kennen there with the old E the minion and then Q him. Um, but it uh, didn't work out. I cannot land Qs on this guy for some reason. Except every now and again, I guess. He rushed Executioners, by the way. I would never recommend that versus Mundo, by the way. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting Executioners against Mundo until he has his... Or Healing Reduction in general against Mundo until he has his first item and level 11, right? Because that's when he starts doing decent healing. Right now, I don't think he does enough healing for Executioners. This early in the game, I should say. He doesn't do enough healing, in my opinion, to warrant an Executioners. Or for an Executioners to be worth it. So let's see here. I kind of want to start aggressing a bit on this cannon here because we have a solid uh, freaking item lead on him, right? Okay, well, nice side steps. Him. I cannot land Qs on this guy, by the way. Oh, thank goodness. I freaking landed one. It's a freaking miracle. Okay, so I'm going to walk down here, get a ward in here, maybe see if there's any honey fruit close in the river. Nope, no such luck. Okay, sucks. All right, still, we're just playing for our Warmogs, right? We need eight, 700 gold for our Warmogs right now. Um, for our Warmogs and a Ruby Crystal, because we need to be able to activate the Warmogs, right? And we need that Ruby Crystal to be able to activate that Warmogs. So, 650 gold? And it's freaking over for Kennen, right? So we just need to play for that. I'm... We don't think about it. I definitely want this cannon, though. I'm going to try to use this melee creep here to eat it so I can secure the cannon, except it kites me! Okay, it's fine. We got the cannon anyway. And we'll just keep farming here, right? We almost have our Warmogs, and then we need to start working towards the follow-up Ruby Crystal. We have TP, right? So as long as we can just stay in lane for it, and we should be able to stay in lane for it because we have our ultimate, right? Our ultimate is a really nice sustain tool that we can leverage. Oh, and we land that Q and he tanks some minions. That's really nice. That's a really good outcome there. So we're going to come over here to help our team with the Kha'Zix here. But he jumps out immediately, so I don't need to worry about that. So I'm just going to ult here just to be safe, right? Just to be 100% sure I don't die, right? I'm just going to chill in the bush here. And, you know, it looks like Kennen might be recalling. And I'm perfectly fine if he does, right? Because if he does, yeah, he recalls. That's, that's, that's perfectly fine. I'm not even going to stop his back. Why? Because we can now get this wave... And we can get a plate, two plates, sorry. We can get two plates here. And that's going to get us our Warmog Warmogs plus Ruby Crystal, right? Oh, I messed that up. Okay, so I should, I auto attacked one time too many. I miscalculated. I, for, I didn't account for the Void Grub damage. But basically, um, when a plate dies, the tower gets more armor temporarily, right? I mean, permanently, but also and even more temporarily, right? So... 
if you can, just before a plate dies, proc your demolish, then that demolish damage will snapshot on the re on the lower armor amount, and then carry, and then the chunk of damage will carry over into the next plate's res um, health bar with the lower armor's damage amount. If that makes sense. So proccing the demolish right before the plate dies is optimal. Now. We have our Warmogs, so now I'm looking to just aggressively trade on this cannon, right? We have infinite sustain. I don't care. He loses 20% of his health, I lose 50% of my health. Um, and that's a worth trade, right? Here, we both lost 50% of our health. And because my freaking E did freaking 300 damage, that is fine, by the way. And look how funny and balanced this is, right? This is this is just hilarious stuff, no? You just sit in the bush, and uh, oh, I guess I max HP again, ha <laughs> ha! And he doesn't even know we're in here, so I can just walk up here, Q auto E. Oh, we missed the Q, sad. That's fine. Actually, maybe I hit him with the E. I hit him with the E. Hold on. Can I hit him with the Q here as a follow-up? Oh! And now we get plates. It's beautiful. So, Talia's pinging that she wants assist on the Kha'Zix that's gonna invade her. And I would love to help, but there's a plate right in front of me and I really want it. And I can get so much here if I don't move, so I need to see Kha'Zix actually. Um being there before I go, and there he is. Okay, fair enough. I guess I'll go help. I would really prefer not to because I can get so much. And I was thinking of walking back for a second, but then we see the Pantheon ult, so it's like, okay. Um, I'm just going to cue the Pantheon, immediately hit the Blast Cone so they don't have a way out. And I'm just sitting here cutting off the Kha'Zix, right? I'm just making sure Kha'Zix can't get out, because we have the numbers advantage here. So we should just kind of win this fight. Kha'Zix leaps out. Galio's going for the 1 HP Talia. I need to stand on top of the Galio so that his E hits me like that, right? If I'm standing on top of the Galio, he can't kill the Talia because I can just body block the E. And that's a really good outcome, obviously. So now we're just going to walk back to lane here, and Warmogs, max HP again, woohoo! And we don't even have to recall, right? We do not have to recall, because infinite HP, and Cannon doesn't have his item yet, we're so far ahead of this Cannon that he cannot contest us, right? Even if we don't recall. So we can just keep pushing here. Use a W to shove the wave, and... Clue the minions so that way maybe we can get an angle for Q. Oh, we hit that Q, huge. And I'm actually gonna come in here and just force the plate off of him. Or the tower, sorry. And let's get- okay, now he freaking dodges the Q and he's out. Okay. I mean, if I land that Q, it's not guaranteed I kill the cannon. But if I land that Q, it opens the possibility for us killing the cannon. So, my bad. I-, I my, my Q game is not on point this game, but it is fine because we are Mundo. You don't need mechanics if you're playing Mundo. All right, we're really close to our heart steal at this point, right? So I kind of just want to stay for it. We're five, we're like 450 gold off, right? If we can just stay for the heart steal, then we can just get such a clean back. It's just so amazing. Use a W to shove the wave here. And there's a fight going on mid lane. Maybe I can go help with that actually, because there's not really much to do topside right now. There's no wave to push with or anything, right? So we might as well look for a play mid lane here. Kha'Zix goes down to the tower, fair enough. Maybe I can cut off the Pantheon here. We pop Ghost here, try to run this guy down. Uh, okay, and the wall, and then Pantheon flashes over, sad. But you know what? Since we're here, you know, we can just push for the tower here. Why not? Everyone on the enemy team is chunked out or dead, right? Kennen's top side. Yeah, Kennen's top side, so... We can just force this off, and I'm tanky enough, I don't have to worry about anything here. I don't have to worry about them hitting me, right? I still have my ultimate. And now, we have our Warmogs. I mean, Warmogs, sorry, the freaking hard steal. We are now at two items, we're in so strong now. And you know, Kennen's top side here, I can just TP up there, actually, because I want to start, I want to keep split pushing top lane here anyway. So we can TP top lane here to try to secure the kill on the cannon. Okay, he runs down. Tilly wall, please. Okay, thank you. Can I land the Q? Okay, we get the assist. And now we just keep pushing top lane here. Dragon is spawning. It, Dragon is the next neutral objective that's coming up, right? That's why I want to split push top lane, so I can be on the opposite side of the map of that. And apply pressure there. And I really want to try for this tier 2 tower, right? Because it's just, it's it's so much gold. The freaking T2 tower is so much gold. Okay, we see freaking Galio in that bush. 
So I'm just gonna walk in here, actually. I'm looking to just, yeah, f come in here and force a demolish proc off this tower. Get the heart steal, get the demolish, and let's just walk away. Galio can't kill us, right? So we're fine. Except that's okay, no, no, no. Pantheon, no, 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 I'm pressing R, I'm out of here, dude. I don't want that. Pantheon freaking W's me, one, two, three, Q, and I get executed. No, I don't, I'm not interested, thanks, though. But I'm, the reason why I'm so aggressively looking for that... Oh, we see a Squire's Bloom get popped there, so we know that there's somebody in the jungle there, but... The reason why I'm looking to freaking get that Demolish proc is because the next time I get a Demolish proc now, that tower's just dead, right? So I'm prepping the tower. Oh no, and Caitlyn face checks it after we saw somebody pro proc the freaking plant. We knew somebody was in there. Oh no, Caitlyn. No, no, no. And I'm just gonna keep pressuring here, right? Yeah, there's a fight going on there. I don't really care, right? Galio's gonna move down, and I saw he was, like, you know, leaving, right? But he can move so much faster than me. He can freaking... He's closer to... He has a better passing, right? I'd have to walk all the way around the jungle. And he can just ult, right? Well, I guess I wouldn't have to walk all the way around the jungle. I could just chase it the same direction he does. But he can just ult and get there first, right? It ends up working out, right? But even if it doesn't work out, it's better for me to... Stay topside here, and just secure towers or the tower right the tier 2 tower because that is an insane amount of gold we just got there right so now we can recall and now i'm happy to go help my team down here at the dragon right because hold on what item do i get i guess i'll hmm i want an armor item okay kenan's going bork so bramble vest is pretty good into bork actually no 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 no. i don't want to get a bramble vest i want to get a chain vest so bramble vest is pretty good into bork because it lowers the life steal, it does, right? And it's also some armor, right? But I don't want to get a Bramble Vest because if I do, I can no longer ignore Cannon while I beat on his towers because Cannon auto-attacking me would make him take damage from the Bramble Vest, thus causing me to lose take tower aggro, right? Okay, we're going to come in here and just freaking chase down this Pantheon. He did not ult into the correct place. Like, he ulted into the wrong neighborhood, dude. <laughs> but... Like I was saying, um, about two tangents ago, like I was saying. I want to come down here and do dragon with my team because I'm pretty sure we can win the fight if I group, right? And it gives me a really smooth transition into the bottom side of the map, right? Because I want to now be split pushing on the bottom side of the map because after we take dragon, Baron is the next objective that's going to be up, right? The, ne the neutral object that's going to be up. So I want to be on the opposite side of the map of that, split pushing here. And also I want to be bot side because there's more towers down here, right? Tier 1 and Tier 2 towers are still up. So I want to be, so that's both reasons why I want to be bot side, and we transition smoothly by um, helping our team with dragon there, right? And Anivia gets a 1v2 play by the, there, by the way. Freaking sick. Good stuff. Unfortunately, we lost our Caitlyn, but that's fine. Now, we managed to get a tower there. Oh, I'm, I'll lose the freaking melee creep. It's fine. And Galio ults away, and if Galio is going to ult away, well, 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 guess who is getting left alone with a tower here, then? Now, we see a 1 HP Pantheon there, but I'm not gonna, like, go chase him or anything, right? That's a maybe 300 gold, right? Maybe he- we can get him, and then that's 300 gold? Or I could just stay here for the guaranteed 700 gold, right? Because this tower is not going anywhere. And not to mention the follow-up creep wave, right? Because this creep wave is about 200 gold because it's a cannon wave, right? So this is about 900 gold here that I'd be giving up if I went to go chase the Pantheon. Now, we almost have our unending despair, which is what I want to be building next. I want some armor. I have so much health that I now want some armor to synergize with all this HP, right? So I'm just going to keep farming here. And Kenneth's thinking about stealing my Grom. That is not okay. That's not acceptable. Auto E it. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. All right, Pantheon's messing around in the jungle over there, but I just want to keep this wave shoved in. I don't want to let it um, run by. I prefer if my team was still pushing top or grouping top side here, because I'm worried about the enemy team taking Baron. But they're actually all bot. The enemy team's also all bot side as well, so that's kind of weird. Oh, and I should have. Okay, so I was focused on these. I was focused on the minions there to keep the wave shoved in. I did not notice that Pantheon got trapped into the wolf um, freaking pit there. Uh, so I kind of trolled my Nevia there. She had to blow flash to get that Pantheon there. Whereas if I had moved, I could have actually just cut him off myself. My bad. Whoops. And I'm just going to come in here and just... Don't mind if I do demolish proc this tower. 
There we go, he's now half HP. I can combo the cannon, and maybe I can actually just get his ultimate here quickly. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna leave now because I don't want- I don't know where his team is, right? And Caitlyn just freaking gets him. <laughs> but yeah, if Kennen was 1v1 there, I might have ulted on him to finish him off. But, um, because I don't know where his team is, I don't want to just risk my life for no reason, right? Alright, so, we're floating a decent amount of gold here. We can look to recall and spend it, right? Or I wouldn't call that a decent amount of gold, I'd call that an insane amount of gold. 2.5k is an insane amount of gold to be floating. So let us immediately recall and get that. And now, I'm kind of torn whether I want to go Spurred Visage or Titanic Hydra here. I think I'll, I'll, I'll see how the game progresses, right? Titanic Hydra is obviously just a ton of damage, right? It's just an insane amount of damage from Wundo. Meanwhile, Spirit Visage is just such good survivability. It's going to reduce their- the Galio is not going to do that much damage to us, but the Kaiser is doing a decent amount of magic damage. And Spirit Visage just overall increases our healing, which just increases our survivability overall, right? Even against their AD. And you know what? I'm actually going to TP in here, because... If we can kill this Pantheon, then we can. Oh, Heart Steel proc, thank you very much. There we go. And... Yeah, I TP in there because I want to secure Baron, right? I don't want to- I don't TP in for just for kills, right? But if those kills can secure us something, like for example, Baron, right? If we kill Pantheon there, we get Baron. And that is amazing, no? Or of course it is, like... So I will absolutely TP in to secure kills that secure us objectives. But if it was just kills, right, it was just a pointless team fight, then I'm not too interested. Although this late in the game, kills we get would probably be able to secure us stuff like, um... Would be able to secure us probably towers or at least jungle camps to steal off of them or something, right, maybe. Any case, I want to now keep split pushing top lane. I just recalled. I don't really have much gold to spend. So... I'm thinking, I guess I'll go down to Dragon here. Um, to help my team win the fight. But actually, no. It would probably be better for me to just stay topside here, because... If I keep split pushing topside... Then... They have to hold me, right? One person on their team can't hold me, so they need to send two. Okay, there's Galio and Kennen, right? And because they have to send two, that pretty much secures us the dragon anyway, because we have the numbers advantage on the other side, right? Of the map. Because if they only send one, then... Give me the hard steel! Okay, no, sad. Because if they only send one, I'm basically just gonna end the game in their face, right? But yeah, you see, they freaking... They run, they run, like freaking cowards, right? They freaking book it! Because I'm just so strong, I will 1v2 them if they're not under a tower, right? And if they are under a tower, they need to, because I can 1v1 plus tower them, right? So we're just gonna bash, bash our face into some freaking structures here. Kha'Zix gets a dragon. I'll, you know what? I'll let them have dragon in trade for their nexus. I think that's a worth trade. And it just beat my face, bash my face into it while my team bullies them in Fountain. And yeah, that's that. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope to see you in the next one.